In this how-to training, we show you the M2 and M2X data download and battery exchange procedures. Video guidance. This how-to video should be watched in conjunction with the relevant product operator guides. It is the operator's responsibility to adhere to all local and regional environmental and engineering regulations. It is the installer's responsibility to maintain the product's ingress protection rating of IP56. Please watch this how-to video completely before commencing this task. This video was recorded in a simulated environment. Backup system data. Using the software suite perception, we will backup all system data as recommended when replacing the battery. And screenshot system settings that may be lost and return to system default during a complete power outage. If your device is online, you can complete data backup and settings capture prior to removing the hydron cover. Note, if you need to capture data locally, you first need to remove the hydron cover to expose the HMI and local serial connection port. Use a local perception database to set up a connection with the RS-232 serial cable to backup, download and screenshot the recommended fields. Use the HMI to navigate to the local serial communication settings. Select main menu and navigate as shown to com setup. We recommend you change the RS-232 board speed to 115,200 and protocol to console to expedite this process. You will require level 1 password 1253 to make these temporary changes. For direct serial connection, temporarily set the protocol to console. This procedure uses perception software. You may also use Hydron operating software applicable to your monitor's version. Refer to the relevant equipment support manuals for this process. Securely connect the local RS-232 cable here. This is a local serial connection communication setup for serial connection to your device. Open the chosen software tool, if required with a temporary database and set up your connection. Right-click on the desired device and choose Setup. This will open a connection to the operating software that allows you to back up and save all the necessary data. As per the support manual, this data may return to default settings and your setup should be re-entered after the monitor is re-energized. After data backup and download, power off the monitor and apply lockout tag out. Refer to the equipment support manual for hydrant removal or watch the relevant product video in this set. Replacing the battery could be for one of the following reasons, system alarm of battery depletion, recognized loss of date and time after system re-energization, or as part of a proactive equipment care program. It is also good practice to back up all system logs. At this time, review your system firmware versions and update if applicable. Contact GE Vernova if you are unaware of the latest versions. After all system data is backed up, exit your chosen software. Hardware Procedure Depending on the age of your hydrant the following procedure should be followed. Refer to the equipment support manual for battery types and versions for your monitor. If not already removed, remove the outer cover now. Loosen and remove the four securing screws to remove the top cover. This will expose the battery and confirm the type required for replacement. This is an alternative battery configuration. If there are any additional communication cards fitted, they will need removing to access the battery connection.
Exchange the battery as demonstrated here, if your connection type is different from this one, proceed only if you are competent to do so. If you needed to remove any other system boards to facilitate this replacement, refit them now. Dispose of the replaced battery as per your region's recycling procedures and laws. Replace and secure the top cover, remove lockout tag out and power on the unit. After reboot, the home screen is in view again, set the date and time with the HMI. With the HMI continue to set the date and time for your monitor. Reconnect with your chosen operating software, confirm settings and reconfigure as necessary. Record the date of replacement for future proactive equipment care. Save all changes, exit the operating software, remove the serial cable. When confirmed all necessary data is re-entered, ensure you replace the outer cover to maintain the original environmental ingress protection of the monitor. Thank you for watching this how-to video and please check for other M&D product support content at this site.